the questions I get asked a lot is how do I handle long screens and keynote, like screens that the user needs to scroll through. And because there are no gestures in Keynote and no gestures in the prototypes that are uh, created with Keynote, you have to simulate this at some some point, somehow. So the way I do long screens is um, I either do a long, if I'm creating a page, a web page, uh, what I do is I create a page that's long enough so if we go to uh, my recent prototypes, let's say I have this uh, this page here. So the page is long enough and it's exported on one screen because um, you really don't need to do much interaction on this page. But let's say I go back to this prototype that I'm creating and I want to scroll through this list. It doesn't make sense to create a long iPhone screen that has you know, six or 10 of these items instead of three. So what I do is I use, take advantage of the, the zooming out here. And what I do is I create multiple items. Let's say I want to scroll this. So I'm going to maybe duplicate these and put them below here. And I'm going to maybe group them with these guys so they're easier to move. So now these can actually go in and out of the screen uh, easily. And I can actually just uh, click on everything here. If you duplicate this slide now, select all these guys. And if I move them up, I didn't select this guy yet. If I move everything up, it's going to feel like I'm scrolling through things, right? So what I can do is I can keep moving things up like this until I reach the end. And because at the end I have this amazing magic move animation configured automatically in Keynote, uh, if I click next here, it's going to scroll. I can reduce the speed a little bit to make it scroll more smoothly. So maybe a second. And if I preview, I click, it's crawling up. Maybe the last one hit the uh, panel that we had. So what I need to do is actually go here and send this guy back with command shift bracket that I have configured, or I can select this and click back here. And now I can test it again, can preview. And I'm simulating scrolling of a long screen here.